Kenya Madera, and I'm co-founder of Singalingo Incorporated with my husband, Michael, and I'm here to do two things in this video today. The first one is to give you an overall sense of how the structure of our activities goes so that you understand the five steps that we take to make a lesson totally singalicious. And the five steps spell out the word wiser because you're gonna be wiser when you're done and the kids are especially gonna be more wise. The second thing I'm excited to do in this video is to teach you five, five, five new methods. We've proven to be really effective in making kids excited and curious and increase suspense and playfulness while managing to keep control of the group. So we're excited to share those with you. The way I'm going to share them is to do an activity that follows these wiser steps and then along the way we'll pause to talk about the methods. The five methods that I'm going to present are sing it, chant it, surprise it, kapow it, and count it. Hola niños, who wants to learn some Espanol today? I am so excited. I have some fun stuff planned. Awesome job. That was the W step. Wow them with enthusiasm. Sets the tone for the whole thing. Next comes the I step for introduced vocabulary. Today we're going to learn a song that will help us count from one to ten. De uno a diez. Before singing, make sure to use the chant it method. The chant it method, the children will learn to say, let's go, let's go sing in Spanish. And eventually, when you start doing it, they will sing along. So before we start to sing the song, I want to do a little chant that helps us know that we're about to sing a song. And it goes like this. It means, let's go, let's go, let's go sing. So in Spanish, it goes like this. Vamos, vamos. Vamos a cantar. Vamos, vamos, vamos a cantar. Let's go sing. Here comes the sing it method, where we teach the words of the song as well as the gestures or moves, and then we sing it along with the recorded music. You guys ready? Put your fingers up. Show me your ten fingers, and then we're going to touch them with the other hand as we count along. Okay, ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Otra vez, again. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Uno, dos, tres, the E step, engage. This is my favorite part. It is so much fun. It is where the playfulness and the interactivity comes in. Have fun. Look, niños, look what I have. I have my special magic container that's full of something that I brought to play with. Do you know what it is? Get ready for the surprise it method. It is about building curiosity and getting kids to think. Should we find out? This is so exciting. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Shall we listen? Does it sound hard or soft? Sounds a little hard. Is there more than one? I think so. Would you like a hint about what might be in my bag? They can go fast or slow. They roll and they take people from place to place. That's right. I have cars. Do you want to see the cars that I brought in my bag? Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Honk, honk. Oh dear. They're racing around and they're like crazy. All right, let's see. That one first one. But this one really wants to come out. Did you see that sudden move and that crazy sound? That's the Kapowit method. It's absolutely just meant to keep the kids engaged. Oh, this one's very fast and it's very special because it is the shape of a shoe. It's in the shape of a funny shoe. All right, let's see what else we have. Shall we see how many more there are? I wonder how many there are. 
That one's very different. This one's made from wood. This one's made from plastic. Shall we see if there are more? Okay, we're gonna keep them up here for now. We can play with them later, okay? Yeah. <gasps> honk, honk! Oh dear, this one's in a hurry. Honk, honk! He's using his horn a lot. Honk, honk! Boingy, boingy, boingy. What are you doing? Cars don't bounce. You're not a bunny rabbit. Let's see what else. Boom. So those are the cars that I had. Do you know how you say car in Spanish? In Espanol? Does anybody know? You're going to say, wow, that was easy when I tell you. El carro. Does that sound like caro? Like car? It's really similar, isn't it? We say el carro, the car. This is el carro. I'm going to say el carro. That's right. So I think I'd like to know how many we have here. Shall we count them? The counted method is going to combine two methods. The chanted method, vamos, vamos, vamos a contar, which is different than cantar. And the second thing, method it will use is the sing it method, because because every time you count something, you make sure to use the song uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Before we count them, I'm gonna sing a chant announcing that we're about to count. Because counting is something we should do a lot as we're learning our numbers and as we're learning to count. Okay, ready? Vamos, vamos, vamos a contar. Vamos, vamos, vamos a contar. Vamos a contar. And what do we do to count? We always use our song that we learned. That's, that is a very important and easy way for us to remember the numbers all in order. Ready? Do you guys remember the song? Join them when you're ready. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Mm. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we stopped at, let's do it again. Let's see, let's notice where we stopped. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. So we stopped at cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. That's four cars, correct? We have four cars. R is for review. Make sure to review. Okay, so now that we're done counting our cards and we know that we have cuatro carros, let's put, say goodbye and put them away. Adios, carros. Uno. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro carros. Adios, carros. Adios.